This video is over arc measures. Now before we talk about arc measures, let's talk about circles and a central angle. A central angle is an angle whose vertex is the center of a circle. So you can see from our diagram that angle ACB is a central angle because its vertex C is the center of the circle. The measure of an arc is the same as the degrees of the central angle that form the arc. So the measure of an arc are degrees and it equals the central angle. Now there's two different kinds of arcs we're going to be talking about, minor arcs and major arcs. A minor arc is an arc who has a measure that is less than 180 degrees and we name a minor arc with two letters and the little bow over the top of them. So for example, minor arc AB is named with a capital A, capital B, and a little like rainbow over it. A major arc is an arc with a measure that's greater than 180 degrees. And we name a major arc with three letters. So if I wanted to name the arc ADB, the blue arc in our diagram there, I would use ADB with a little arch over it. Now, a, a major arc, the order of the letters shows the direction the arc goes. So we start with our A, then we start traveling around our circle until we hit D, and then we hit B. So it tells us order and direction. Now, a couple of other vocabulary terms you're going to need about arcs are congruent circles. Congruent circles are circles that have the same radius. So in this example, I have two circles with a radius of three, circle X and circle Y, and they are congruent circles. Another way you can find congruent circles, or sorry, so congruent arcs, are arcs that have two things and they have to have both of these things or are they not they are not congruent arcs first they have to have the same measure so they have to have the same central angle and they also have to be either on the same circle or on congruent circles so if we look at our examples here our first set of circles have the same radius and you can see by the hash marks that angle a and angle o are congruent, so those are congruent arcs. Arc CT and arc DG are congruent arcs. Now if we look at our other set, you can see that it has a central angle of the same, but we don't have any information about our radius, so we can't say those are congruent arcs. And then I also drew another example for you. If we had a little bitty circle with a central angle of 30 degrees forming that blue arc and a great big circle with a central angle of 30 degrees forming the blue arc one has a radius of one circle has a radius of 1 and one has a radius of 5 so these cannot be congruent arcs even though their central angles are the same all right and then the last thing that we're going to talk about is the arc addition postulate. And the arc addition postulate says that the measure of an arc formed by two adjacent arcs is the sum of the measures of the two arcs. Forgot my S on here, so I'm gonna put it on there for you. Adjacent means right next to each other. So two arcs that are right next to each other, if you add them together, you're going to get the big arc. So in our example that we have here, we have our, the measure of arc ABC equals the measure of arc minor arc AB plus the measure of minor arc BC. So let's put some measures on there. So say, let's say that arc AB is 60 degrees and arc CB is 60 degrees. So to find the measure of the major, major arc ABC, I'm going to add 60 plus 60 and I'm going to get that the measure of arc ABC is 120 degrees.